Hello and welcome to the demonstration of our dynamic organ system, which consists of the pump and the developer's kit. Within the kit, you can find the tubing, which is attached to the chip to perfuse medium, the connectors or adapters to connect the tubing to the chip, the small reservoirs, which are also attached to the chip and can hold medium or any treatment you would like to have, and the plugs to close the static site. Lastly, we have here the biochip, which you also can find within the kit. Now I would like to explain you the chip in more detail. Each chip consists of two chambers, a left and a right one, which can be used for duplicates, several treatment conditions, or even different organ models, which could be interconnected. Each chamber consists of two channels, a top channel and a bottom channel, separated by a porous membrane, which you can also see here in this model. In this example, we have a vasculature in the top channel and an epithelium in the bottom channel. Each channel has then different individual ports to access the top and the bottom channel. Now I would like to walk you through the assembly of the perfusion equipment. To do so, I've laid out all the different components over here. Let's start with the plugs to close the bottom channel. In this example, the top channel will be used for the perfusion. So next, the reservoirs can be attached to the biochip via the ports. Lastly, the tubing can be attached to the biochip by attaching the connectors into the ports and the other ending of the tubing into the lid of the reservoirs. With this, the perfusion equipment is ready and the chip can now be attached to the pump. To do so, at first we have to disconnect the care sets from the pump and attach the tubing to the care set. Then the care set can be put back onto the pump and the same procedure then for the second tubing. Make sure that everything fits nicely and with this the perfusion setup is ready and perfusion can be started. In the following videos we would like to walk you through each step required to enable cell seeding in the biochips, growth of a confluence cell layer and ultimately to start perfusion of an organ model. The first step is the sterilization of the biochip with ethanol to prepare for coating and cell seeding. After two washing steps with ultra-pure water, the biochip can be stored in a sterile petri dish. The second step is the coating of the biochip membrane to prepare for cell seeding. Coating solution will be applied to all channels used for cell seeding and incubated as usual. The coating of the biochip is directly followed by the seeding of cells. Before loading of cells, the biochips will be washed and prepared for cell medium. Cells are harvested and prepared as usual and then loaded at appropriate concentrations into the biochip. After loading of cells, biochips are placed in an incubator. More cell types could be added as soon as the respective layers become confluent. Lastly, once the cells are grown to confluence, the model is ready to be perfused. The perfusion equipment is set up as shown before. The reservoirs and tubing are connected to the biochip and the whole setup is connected to the peristaltic pump inside the incubator and perfusion is started. After this stage, supernatants could be sampled for further analysis or treatments applied depending on the aim of your research. Thank you for watching. Should there be any questions, we're always happy to help.